for a relational data model, schema defines a relation with a name and a set of attributes for it. A relation in a relational data model is a two-dimensional table. Name of the relation is the name of the table, and the name of the attributes are the names of the columns of this table. The relations do not prescribe how they are implemented or stored on the disk or how they are retrieved from it. The relation is therefore physical structure independent. For example, the schema for relation movies shown in the table here can be defined as movies, title, year, length, and genre. Note that this schema includes the name of the relation, which is movies, and title, year, length, and genre, which are the attributes defining the columns of this table, and therefore the values that should be contained in each full row. While changing values of certain rows and columns within this table is fairly easy, schema changes after initial definition is not that easy. And this is still possible, but includes rewriting of old data in the table from current format to the new one. This might include millions of rows containing data for the defined columns and therefore might not be an easy task to accomplish. The set of schemas for the relations of a database is called a relational database schema or just a database schema. For example, database schema for a school database may contain students, course, and take relation schemas. Or a library database schema may contain movies, books, and music relation schemas. An instance of a relation is dynamic. This means that we can add, delete, and modify its tuples. Tuples are rows of the table representing the relation. For example, each row of the table representing the relation movies in the figure is one tuple. Attributes are columns of a relation. Our example relation, movies, has attributes title, year, length, and genre. Each tuple is the collection of values for these attributes. The relational data model provides a very simple and limited approach to structuring data. This simple approach is yet reasonably versatile. So many data use cases can be modeled with this simple two-dimensional representation. The simplicity of this data model, as we will see later, is also a benefit for its efficiency and performance. Columns of the tables representing the relations are also referred to as attributes, or fields. Rows of the tables for relations are also referred to as tuples or records. The number of attributes in a table representing a relation is called degree of a relation. We also call it arity. The number of tuples in a table representing a relation is called cardinality of a relation. It is important to note that relations are like a set of tuples. This means that the order of rows in the table representing a relation does not matter. However, the order of columns after definition of the relation schema is important because it should be kept the same across tuples to represent the same field values. If you change the schema, you can change the order of the fields. And if you want to change the order of the fields for all tuples, you need to change the schema. Either the case, the order should be the same for all of the tuples. This freedom in ordering means that we can represent a relation in different ways. For a relation with M fields and N tuples, 
there are m factorial times n factorial ways of representation. For example, a relation named students with fields ID, name, age, and GPA can also be represented with fields ID, name, GPA, and age. And it can have different ordering of the records. For example, the tuples representing the records for Alice and Bill could have different orders and still represent the same relation. This relation has three factorial times four factorial ways of representation. 